Hi, my name is Wes Studi, and I'd like to introduce Sarah Matthews. And we're here at the uh, west side of the Capitol, thinking that today would be the beginning day that Santa Fe began to be a part of the Idle No More movement throughout the world that started out in Canada. I would like to heap praise upon Indian women of the world that have led this charge for sovereignty, not only for themselves and their peoples, but the, the peoples of Canada, the peoples of the Americas, the people of the world in terms of applying sovereignty to themselves as well as the earth. This is a worldwide movement that has caught uh, the attention of media around the world except here in the United States. Now, I just wonder why that would be. Why would that be? I believe that when people see a problem in another community, they often feel that it doesn't affect them. What's on the table right now is taking away the human rights of a group of people. Number one, that should cause everyone concern because when you take away the basic human rights of people, that is like saying that you don't exist. So we can come in, take your land, take your water. We just ask that we be seen, that we have an identity. We are alive, we're breathing a living culture. And we do have rights that go back beyond the colonized system that we live in.